everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and I am bringing you a haul video today. Now what should I be doing? Listing. But I didn't. I went shopping instead. So I wanted to show you what I picked up. Oh gosh. So when my sales come around on Monday and you're like, so Margaret, why are your sales down again? Maybe you should have been listing instead of uh, out there shopping. But I don't know. Retail therapy, right? I have my reasons. Oh, you know my reasons. I already told you. If you watch that one video, <laughs> you'll know. Anyway, so I picked up some hats. Um, this is at my favorite thrift store that's nearby. They're only open three days a week. And so I hit them Tuesday and then I hit them again Thursday. So I don't know like how these are going to go. I think they're youths. This is a small medium. And this is a, I don't know the brands either, but I just thought it was really, oh wait, it's Volcom. It was really intricate and a little wild looking. Uh, the hats there are a dollar. And then this is another one. It's a Hurley. They're, they're in pretty good shape. They look pretty clean. And then this one is also a Hurley. There we go. And then this one, I had to go online to one of my teams and say, what is this brand? I don't know it. Um, but it's DC. That's a D, I guess, right there. DC. So I picked up all those hats for a dollar. I still need to look up to see um, about how much they go for. I am going to, for part of the haul, um, do it a little bit differently where I share with you my research and what I found and uh, what it's going for online because I thought, why not? I'm looking it up. I might as well share it while I do it. So this is the same, um, the thrift store I went to for the hats is the same one that I went to where I got the fabric, like the cutout ones that had like the dresses and stuff and it seems like every time I go they have a couple more so it's like I think they have like a stash of them in the back and they're like okay those ones are gone now put out a couple more okay those ones are gone now put out a couple more I'm like oh, just put them all out so I can buy them all already so every time I go in there's like one or two more of the same type of thing where they're like the cut out and this one's already kind of been cut so I've got to check to make sure all the pieces are there but when you cut it out and sew it together it makes a snowman um and then this one is super cute too. When you cut it all out, let me get it, let me get it and show you. It's worth the wait, it's worth the wait. When you cut it all out and sew it together, it makes like a frog. Oh, it's got a name, Buddy the Frog. See, isn't that cute? I wonder if I should make Buddy the Frog. Somebody already did the work and cut it out for me. But anyway, those weren't out there the last time. That's something fell. Um, so anyway, um, so Buddy the Frog, he was 50 cents, and then the snowman one was a dollar. Uh, and if you saw, you know, I've sold a couple of the dress ones, uh, the cut out, you know, cut and sew dress ones for dolls. And uh, yeah, I had a couple people send me best offers on a couple of others that I didn't take because I didn't want to. <laughs> Um, another thing I picked up were some scarves. I picked, I don't know, like I just, okay. In the last haul, I had picked up scarves and I just mentioned I have a bunch of scarves, just never listed them. But you know, you walk through and you start feeling of the scarves and if they look like they're good quality, you try to see, you know, check out the name and everything. So I'm walking along, ooh, that scarf was nice. Um, very tactile, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a paoli uh, and it's a nice square red, pretty scarf. I just, I don't wear scarves, but. And then I picked up another scarf, which was also one that I walked by. It was super pretty. It's like all mosaic-y looking and pastels. Isn't it pretty? Um, and it's way bigger. It's square. Way bigger. And I think it's a Liz Claiborne. Yeah, it is. Liz Claiborne one. So really pretty, silky. I don't know that it's actually silk, but it's real soft to the touch. This one's not so much soft to the touch. <laughs> but it was a Coca-Cola one. And, you know, people collect Coca-Cola stuff. Oh, the scarves. They were, let's see, that one was 50 cents. And this one was also 50 cents. And then the Coca-Cola one was also 50 cents. So, um, I don't know. I'll have to look up. I looked this one up, and I didn't find one exactly like it, but I didn't really dig that, that deep. Another thing I picked up there, I don't do a lot with looking at belts, but these really caught my eye because they were really different. They look like a rope, but that's not what caught my eye. It was the buckle or the catch. Look at that. It looks like a little cloisonne elephant. Um, and I am one of those people that think, you know, cloisonne should sell for a lot of money because it's really cool. 
but it doesn't always sell for what I think it should. And it's one of those things that I keep buying, you know, <laughs> I keep buying it. But this one is cool. Look at this one. It's got a unicorn, huh? And they're a good size. I mean, because they, <laughs> I got a little bit of sauce around the middle, if you know what I mean. And they go around me. So, um, that's cool. They're, they'll be, you know, I'll be able to sell them, I think, because they, they go around a good size girl. <laughs> and then another thing, another necklace I picked up, I don't know, it might, it might be a child size necklace, but it's a Napier. Well, no, it might fit. It might fit me, but it'll be a close, one of those close fit, like base at the neck type of ones. Um, it's a Napier. And it's a really pretty chain, you know, and they, that's a good costume jewelry brand. And it was $1.50, which eh, is a little much for me, but I went for it. Went for it. Now, I'm going to switch it over. Oh, another thing I buy, too. <laughs> bop it. Now, this is a different bop it. We actually already have one of these. I always grab bop it's, and sometimes they're worth money, and sometimes they're not. This Here's this one. Solo, my score is 71. The goal is to get it in the light, one of these lights. Okay, here we go. Can I do it? Oh. Yep. I'm trying to get one, it there. I'm going to switch it over now. <laughs> so you can see uh, my what I've researched on the things that I've picked up. So hang on one second. Okay, here we go. So I went to a garage sale today, and I picked up this. The lady had a box that was full of, she said, everything in the box is 20, 25 cents. And I didn't know what it was. It looked interesting. It said my jam. And then this was like a little speaker thing that went with it. So I paid 50 cents because it was, and I didn't know quite what it was. Um, so I came home and looked it up and I didn't find a lot of completeds for this. I mean, I found some other styles of it, but here we've got it on, um, eBay, somebody's selling it new for $14.99. So whether that's a flop or a yay, who knows? We'll find out. Um, that's what that is. It's called My Jams Mini. We'll find out. I don't know. Next, I got, oh boy, okay, so it was a Lisa Frank puzzle. And you know, everybody's finding Lisa Frank and it's yay! And I find Lisa Frank and it's like, oh, of course, the one <laughs> when I find it, it's like, um, five dollars. So, but anyway, it was a quarter. Let me see how this is going to work. So I, I need space because I move around a lot. Um, so it was a quarter, this puzzle. Here it's five dollars. This is on Amazon. So I looked it up on eBay too and it wasn't <laughs> any better. Um, it was, okay, that's the next thing. Again, another Lisa Frank I picked up. This one I paid two dollars for and it's this light up um, diary, two dollars I paid on on that for the garage sale today, and it's like nine ninety eight. <laughs> well, you know, people say you know, be on the lookout, Lisa Frank, and I'm like, yes, I found some Lisa Frank, and it's new. No, <laughs> everything but that, Margaret. <laughs> um, another thing I picked up that was a quarter was this um, AC adapter. And I've got to find out what the pluggy plug goes to, but it looks really familiar. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, it looks really familiar, so I just have to find out. I, I looked up some with the same model number, and uh, they're going for about $10. It's got the same type model number and everything. But I don't know. I need to find out more and, and maybe test it, see if it works. Maybe test it. <laughs> Next up, oh, I got this shot glass. This was at the thrift store. This Myrtle Beach Harley Davidson shot glass. It was a, a quarter. And here is a, an active listing right now. Someone's selling it for $13.95 with two watchers. So that might make make good make good profit. Um, <laughs> maybe. You know, hey, maybe 10 bucks. So here we go. Oh, yeah, this is that puzzle again. On <laughs> I was like, maybe it's better on eBay. <laughs> Amazon was selling for five bucks. eBay. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, well. It was a quarter. It was a quarter. Okay, so then I picked up this Dave Runner as well. And this one, um, I, I see, um, I'm trying to remember the names. Okay. Um, my brain is just, you saw it the other day, too. My brain was not going, clicking. No, no. You know it's you. You know who it is, and I can't think of your name right now. Oh, man. 
Do I need to go to the doctor? And get a brain scan or something? Thelma Thrift. There it is. There's the name. Um, Thelma Thrift. She picks up day runners. Now this one's not leather. Some of the ones she picks up are really nice, but I, it had the day runner uh, logo on there. So I thought, well, okay. And it's used. So here, you know, but it's still in really nice shape. You know, it still has all the dividers. You know, you just buy your refill to go in there. And it's got space in the front for your cards and checkbook or whatever else you want to stick in there. Stickers, whatever. <laughs> um, so new, they're selling for $18. Um, so I can, you know, here you see the different options. So I can stick it up on eBay and, you know, maybe make 10 bucks or so. But I, I, it was a quarter at that garage sale. So that's not bad. Not huge, but hey, that's what we do it for fun, right? Oh no, my, I lost my, there it is, there it is. Okay, so I picked up these at the thrift store and they were a dollar for the set of them and they're colored pencils and they look like real wood and carved bark and all of that. So here's somebody selling them for $9.50. Um, I, I didn't check on Etsy, but I don't know. I, I think they're super awesome. I might try to go for more. I'll have to sharpen them up, though. Look at them. Some of them need to be cleaned up and sharpened. Um, yeah, so $9.50. They were a dollar. That's still okay. And then I found some Littlest Pet Shop again. And, and I thought, oh, yay, Littlest Pet Shop. And then you look it up and you're like, <sighs> I get spoiled. I get spoiled after my first Littlest Pet Shop win was like a $40 win. And now it's like, oh, man. It's like with the first, like if you go to Vegas the first time and you like win big and then it just ruins it for every other time. So I got it. It's new in box and it's, it's you know, it's still good. It looks good. Now, you know, I could send it into Amazon or try to sell it here on, on eBay. Um, these are the listings. About $15. Except for this guy, you know, $34. That would probably be me, you know, <laughs> $34.88. Now, did I do completed over here or sold? Refine. Let's take a peek -a -loo. Let's do solds. Because I think I saw one for $20 that sold and one for, let's see, here you go. Somebody sold for $9.99, somebody sold for $19.98. That's like a $10 difference, right? So, I mean, I'll make my money back. That's not a problem. But I like the big wins. Don't we all? Maybe we're all a gambler at heart. Uh, and then I picked up another one, and they were $2 each. So here's another one that has the puppy in it. Same deal, you know, they're about $10 or a little less. You know, here's a couple out of the box, and it's they're wanting $10.99. So let me click on the, the solds again. I had this all set up, and then I closed the window out when I was getting ready. Ugh, and I had to go back and fix it all. Um, so yeah, I mean, this little doodad by himself is $5.50, you know. Choices. I have choices. Next, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay, this was also in that quarter box. And I have batteries, you know. Uh, so pick these batteries up for a quarter, you know, and they're selling for not much either. But I mean, you know, we always need batteries around the house, so I may just throw them in the battery bucket that we have in the closet. Um, batteries. <laughs> okay. Um, and then here, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to talk to you about this. Seriously. Okay, so here we have some Monet earrings, and I picked these Monet um, earrings up at the thrift store for 50 cents and when I picked them up I knew they were good quality they're really heavy and then I could see there was writing on this part right here I couldn't read it but you know it's wrapped around this part and it says you know copyright Monet which is a, a brand you know a costume jewelry brand and they're really pretty and like I said they've got a good weight to them but I started looking at you know, on Etsy, what people are selling their Monet gold tone earrings are. They don't make, you know, they're not solid gold or anything. So I'm, I was looking, you know, I sort of buy highest. And, you know, here we've got these that are going for 100 and plus. Mind you, these are not real gold. These are costume jewelry. Watch me eat my words. Oh, looks and feels like 14 karat, real 14 karat gold looks and feels like hmm sweet 
<laughs> but it's not, right? I mean, here we go. Try again. I'm sorry. I'm making fun of you. I'm not really making fun of them, but I'm just saying. I'm making a point. Vintage gold tone. Okay, so these people are selling their gold tone earrings, Monet brand, for a hundred bucks. Right now, this is not all of them. Scroll down, you'll see. But the point I wanted to make, so then I thought, well, let me do a search on, uh, for the lowest price. So here I'm searching for the lowest price. I'm going to compare the two. So if you'll take a look, somebody's selling, you know, gold tone Monet earrings for $3, you know, or $4. Monet, four fifty. dollars What makes this different from this or this you know what I mean look can you tell that I mean to me it's it's all in the photography it's all in the quality it's all in how you price your items I mean because these you know are I know they're different but you get what I'm saying like it's it's the value you put and the way you make them appear that can sell it you know here you know $5.95, $5.95, $6. But I'm telling you, if you take the time, make it look nice, Some I, I really feel like some of these people have them priced low. That's my opinion. And some of these are priced crazy high. Um, but also you can see that the market is, I'll show you how many, I searched, you know, Monet gold tone hoop earrings, and there's seven pages to, to go through of, those earrings. So mine will probably fall in the middle there, but they're really pretty. Anyway, I was just bad. I mean, not baffled, but just, you know, food for thought, food for thought. And then I picked up this, this is another thing. Oh, I talked to you about the cloisonne. Uh, I always think cloisonne is going to sell for really, really well. And sometimes it does, but not really always. So here I found this little cloisonne egg and it's not as elaborate as some of these. It's more like inlaid. Um, more let's see I saw one on here earlier that it was close it was close to yeah there it is so this one is similar it doesn't have all the gold in it and it it's just sort of inlaid with the the image which I'm not even sure what that is is that a bird it's just a flower that part's a flower what is that like a duck no it's a flower anyway <laughs> so this one's going for twenty dollars you know so hey this one fifty cents uh, we'll see how it goes. It, it's cool. It's cool. And then next up, oh, okay. I found a frame. I couldn't find one like it. It's a vintage, um, it's a girl, you know, frame. First of all, that was porcelain, but I think it may be porcelain over metal because it's metal. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Anyway, it's a girl frame. I couldn't find one just like it on Etsy. I couldn't find a, you know, it's a boy or anything like that. So, maybe, I don't know, $15 or so. It was $0.25. Cents. That's that one. I had some other things poked up. Time out. So I picked up this lapel pin. It looks like a little, it's a little locket on there for $0.50. Cents. And when I did a search on Etsy, I found one pretty close, you know, looks pretty close to this one for selling for $20. Um but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a better picture. Sorry, you. Uh, but, I, yeah. Them's the facts. Anyway. <laughs> that sounds bad. But, uh, so 50 cents. But here's what I wanted to talk to you about. Well, I'll talk to you about that in a second. Yeah. Let me finish showing you what I got. So I also got this seashell stick pin for 50 cents. And here's what I did on this one. So I, I did a search for shell lapel stick pin. You know, and I found some similar, super awesome. But then I also did a search for seashell. So getting those keywords in there, if you'll take a look, there's only seven results on this one, seashell. Um, so make sure, you know, try to get as many keywords in, in there as you can because you know in my listing I'm going to have shell and I'm also going to have seashell. Probably have nautical and whatever else I can think of that, you know, has to do with beach or seashore or shore bay, ocean, whatever, I don't know. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind because if if somebody were searching and did seashell instead of just the word shell, your listing is not going to pop up because here you go. Anyway, 
<laughs> get off your get off your soapbox, Margaret. Another thing, okay, so I had another seashell one. Look at this one. It's got little dangly danglies. So this one got me thinking, I need to tell you about this. Uh, this one was 50 cents as well. When I have stick pins, when I have hat pins, when I have lapel pins, anything with a stick on it, so I'll list it, you know, as a hat pin. I'll list it as a lapel pin, but I will also list it as a hijab pin. I don't know if you guys do this, those of you that sell the vintage jewelry, but if you don't know, a hijab is what the uh, ladies wear when they wear their headscarves, and they'll have an, some kind of pretty pin sometimes stuck into it to, you know, just extra decoration, extra jewelry. And so I will also be listing these as hijab pins. So let me show you, and you'll, you'll see. So like all the hat pins I had that I've sold, I also listed as hijab pins. Just take a look. I mean, it's a pin. A lot of times they'll have like a dangly, something cute dangling off of it. Just to like, you know, like when you're wearing dangly ear bracelets or earrings, just to have that little clinkle or shimmer in the... Um, but sometimes they're just plain stick pins, you know. So here I did a search for shell hijab pin. And then I thought, oh, let me just pull up some hijab pins so you see. They're just little pins, sometimes with a little ornament hanging off of them. Sometimes, you know, they just have, they look like lapel pins. Or they look like a hat pin. Like, here you go. Looks like it's just a hat pin. This, I would also list it as a hijab pin. See, somebody else, they, oh, they have scarf pin on there, too. There you go. My hat's off to you. Kill them creative. <laughs> so, yeah, keep that in mind. That's just another little tip when you're listing um, pins like this. If you do, throw that in there because, you know, if, if a girl is searching for a pretty hijab pin to wear on her scarf, you want yours to show up in the search. And then last, I have this, um, look at him. It's a little monkey with googly eyes and this... Cabochon, I never say those right, stone for his tummy, and he was he was a quarter. So I couldn't find one exactly like him, but I found this this guy right here, and he's $17. Gosh, but he's kind of creepy. Look at those red eyes, you know. Ooh. Um, but anyway, it's very similar, very similar, only mine's a little friendlier looking. <laughs> So, that is pretty much what I got. Um, tell me what you think. There were not as many... Um, oh, no, I forgot to tell you the last one. I was saying there were not as many like, woohoo, you know, this is an awesome score. But, you know, bread and butter, bread and butter. I did... Oh, I'm going to scooch it so you can see. Sorry, monkey. Kyle's going. There she goes. Look at that. Okay, so I did get this at the garage sale today. Yay, Mindflex. And they charged me $10 for it, which was okay because I got all that, a bunch of other stuff for a quarter there. Um, so I ended up spelling, spending $12.50 or something like that at the garage sale. Um, so anyway, I was going to, I had Mindflex pulled up and like I said, I accidentally um, closed out of my tabs and everything when I was getting ready. So... Mindflex game, and all the pieces are there. Uh, it was open but never played with, she said. The, you know, the kid was just not interested. So here, is that the same one? That's 101 right there. Now, um, this is the one that I sent in to Amazon that I sold. That, that, was the, that was when I learned about Mindflex. But here you see it. eBay, 30 bucks, 27 dollars uh, 63 So, you know, it's up there you know, pretty good. 65, they're kind of all over the board. And then some people part them out. Oh, I was just watching a video from somebody the other day that was talking about parting out the Mindflex pieces. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, I can't remember and I feel horrible. Um, but anyway, you know, you could part it out if there's pieces missing, or I think this is the solo game. I don't know because the Mindflex Duel is the one that I send in at Amazon. And again, um, I'll probably put it on eBay. Somebody asked me that about the other one um, and said, "Why aren't you sending it into Amazon? Because you know, just because it's used, you can still sell it there." <gasps> but I just went because <gasps> I, I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, I I haven't started selling any kind of used stuff on Amazon, and maybe that's just my barrier that I need to cross. Other than books, you know, I'll send in used books. Pretty much everything else is new and sealed, you know, 
games, toys, things like that. Like I might send in this one to Amazon, but I'm probably reaching, probably won't send in this one because it's all crumpled and crunched, you know? Um, I don't know. And maybe that's just me. I feel like, I don't know, just the customer service expectations and Amazon is, you get what I'm saying. I think, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, that was, you know, that was, that kind of made up for all the other kind of like, meh, it's okay, uh, it's good. I mean, they're all smalls, they'll, they'll be easy to list, and, you know, after a couple of these bad boys. Um, <laughs> oh, and I, I got, this is for my kids. We aim to misbehave. Brown coats forever. Anyway, that was a dollar at the garage sale too. <laughs> Nerd. Um, all right, so that's it. That's the haul and the little, you know, backstory on everything and tutorials on a few little doodads here and there. So that's everything. And um, it is raining. And so earlier I was singing my Rain, Rain, Go Away song earlier because I really want to go to garage sales tomorrow. It's a Labor Day weekend. I, I figure there's either going to be a bunch or there's going to be not a lot because people are on vacation and took the three-day weekend off somewhere. Uh, I don't know, but hopefully something, something, because then I get, you know, a little get out of the house time. Um, also, um, Thrifty Treasures, Tanya over at Thrifty Treasures and I have been talking about doing a uh, ride along like when, after we drop the kids off at school like going on a little mini road trip for the day to different thrift stores and things um, so that's in the works um, she and I still need to coordinate that so I'm calling you out Tanya let's get this going it'll be fun we watch all these videos of people on their road trips posting these posting these fun videos but we can't go anywhere because we got kids um, <laughs> But I'm sure our life is more fulfilled. <laughs> Gosh, that sounds horrible. Uh, anyway, just stop while you're ahead, Margaret. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe. Find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures, and I will talk to you later. Make sure you enjoy yourselves. Bye. There we go. No, it's coming back again. Look, I have a little piece of tape. I keep my camera covered because I'm super paranoid. The government's going to watch me through my camera. <laughs> but, but you've heard those stories, seriously, of like the high schools that would send home the, ca the, the computers with the kids and then the, they would like turn on the cameras in the uh, laptops when the, the kid had the laptop at home and they could record what was going on. Like, have you not heard those stories? So anyway, I keep a little piece of tape covering my camera when it's not in use. Maybe I'm paranoid. I don't know. I heard that. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's kind of creepy. Not that my high school has my camera, you know, like, but you know, the government. <laughs> anyway, let me get my light. Tip of the day. Don't take a break and eat peanut butter crackers before you have to finish recording. Because now I've got peanut butter cracker issues. <laughs> peanut butter cracker time. <laughs> okay. You guys do this too, right? And you just like sing to yourself at home. <laughs> Can I do it? Oh. Nope. I'm trying to get it there. And he's so abusive. Wait till you listen to him. Listen to him. If I get it wrong. Oh, I did it again. I couldn't help it. Two points. Fail tastic. <laughs> Sometimes he's like bad, just bad. Boo! Boo! <laughs> anyway, that was a dollar. Epic fail. Epic fail. Or sometimes it's say like awful, just awful. Dude, what are you doing? Solo. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs>